Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. It's Gofa Nilungu back with another reaction video. If you're new to this channel, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and of course, do not forget to subscribe. A big shout out to the person that suggested this. The people have no idea what is going on. Be careful. So, without wasting time, let's get into the video. Assalamu alaikum guys. What a week it has been. Chaotic, life-changing, dangerous. And I'm not just talking about the US elections. Mr. Donald Trump. Loads of terror attacks have been happening. Our prayers and condolences go out to the families and the communities that are struggling and suffering. But guys, I also want to point out certain hypocrisies, certain inconsistencies that have been present within the media and how they have peddled a certain narrative and omitted certain stories. That's right, you have heard only a few terrorist attacks, but other terrorist attacks have not been mentioned. And my question is, why? Okay guys, so let me start off with an ISIS attack. This happened a couple of days ago, yeah, on the 2nd of November. Whilst everybody was talking about the attack in Austria, there was a ISIS attack in Afghanistan. That's right, and in a university where students were being shot at and there were 12 people that were killed. And if that's not all, a week before, again in Afghanistan, yeah, in an education center, there was another ISIS attack in which 40 students, 44-0, were killed. Now, as you guys are familiar with the attack that happened in Austria and, and France, and if you're following BBC and Sky, there is live footage and you've got the person on the scene and you, you got the latest developments and people are watching, you know, with their hearts in their throats and really tense. Where was the live footage when it came to Afghanistan? Forget live footage, where were the headlines? I was checking on my BBC app and my Sky app, I didn't see anything. In fact, it was only through Twitter that I came across a BBC link, then I clicked on it and then I went on it. Otherwise, had it not been for somebody sharing the link, I would never have known. So let's move on to the second attack that you're familiar with that happened in Austria, yeah, in Vienna. Ludicrous, it was done by an ISIS sympathizer, yeah, and two Muslim Turks were dubbed as heroes because they were going and, and protecting and saving the police and, and, and the general public and not to mention one Muslim Palestinian as well who was also dubbed a hero who was also protecting the police and the people there. But the question arises, if this is a Muslim and an Islamic problem, why are Muslims who follow Islam going in and protecting the citizens? Yeah! And why on earth is it that we're being killed by ISIS in Afghanistan? Gotcha! Let me move on to the third one, yeah? In Avignon, yeah? We're familiar with what was going on in France, but there was another guy, yeah? Who shouted Allah Akbar! Yeah, probably obviously massacred the Tajweed first before doing anything else. People started saying, yeah, he's a Muslim mate, here to take away blah blah. And it ended up being a far right guy and he was brandishing his gun, pointing at the police and he got shot dead. Let's move on to number four in Canada and Quebec. This again, yeah, very similar date, 2nd of November still. He killed two people with a giant Japanese sword. Is that not newsworthy? Well, I didn't come across it, mate. I came across it on somebody's Twitter page. I found the link and then I found the news article. How come this bloke isn't a terrorist, mate? Well, he's not brown. Yeah, he's not, he's not a Muslim. What is this unjust and unequal brandishing of the word terrorist and extremist? You got France in Lyon. Yeah, a priest was shot. Oh my words. Yeah, people started going ballistic. Oh, these Muslims are shooting our priests. Yeah, what on earth is going on, mate? This is absolute mind blowing. And you know what the irony was? The priest was shot by another priest. I mean, I, I, I don't know. I don't know what to say, frankly. Then people shut up about it. 
Yeah, nothing about Christianity, about priest on priest violence. Yeah, let's rewrite the Bible. No, none of that, mate. Yeah, if it doesn't meet their agenda, if it doesn't make it seem like, yep, the Muslim ba boogeyman, mate, here he comes with his beard. <laughs> what we notice from all of this is ISIS. ISIS is the issue and the problem. ISIS was born. Yes, that's right, it was born from the illegal war in Iraq. There undeniably would be no ISIS if we had not invaded Iraq. ISIL is a direct outgrowth of Al-Qaeda in Iraq that grew out of our invasion, which is an example of unintended consequence. And a secret analysis by the agency you ran, the Defense Intelligence Agency, in August 2012 said, and I quote, that quote is, there is a possibility of establishing a declared or undeclared Salafist principality in eastern Syria, and this is exactly what the supporting powers to the opposition want in order to isolate the Syrian regime. The US saw the ISIL caliphate coming and did nothing. When ISIS was starting off, who let it grow? Who funded it? Who promoted it? Again, it's the land of the free and the brave. We have totally destabilized the Middle East. It's a disaster. That's right, it was being used for political gains. And then when it spirals out of control, rather than the US and the Western nations bowing their heads in humbleness and saying, you know what, we're the cause of this and we're going to deal with it, blah blah blah. No! On top of that, they're becoming more arrogant and saying it's the Muslims, we need to change the book and the Muslims should be ashamed of them. Shut up! All right. See my mother don't talk to me like that! <laughs> you! You're the problem! You deal with it! Don't make it seem like it's my religion and I'm the problem! Instead of the American white man eliminating the causes that create that condition, he tries to cover it up by accusing his accusers of teaching hate. But actually they're just exposing him for being responsible for what exists. <clears throat> I'm gonna go out and I'm gonna be me because I know my religion. I know the benefit that it has given and the benefit it can give and it will give even to the people watching. Well especially the people that are sincere. Yeah, you will see the benefit that Islam has and you will see why the Muslims are so steadfast despite all of this going on. Because I, I know it's difficult, you constantly see stuff in the media, but you have to take time to decipher the stories, otherwise it is gonna affect you. I will leave it there guys, until next time. <laughs> Assalamu alaikum. I love him for saying what he had on his mind other than sugarcoating what's happening in this world. Many times many things are happening in the world and these big news outlets that many people depend on are not reporting it. They only report it when they think, um, they only report it when it's beneficial to them, when they want to I guess make themselves look good and everything. He's talking about all these groups that have come out because of these invasions that we've seen in the past and we're still seeing and it's really sad, why can't they still do something about it? Because they've got the power to stop these small groups that are threatening people's lives. It doesn't make sense. It really doesn't make sense. I mean, um, they're seeing all this confusion, rather the havoc that's being created in these things. You have the power, why can't you stop it? They try to find, as long, like I said, it's a political thing. As long as they've got political interest, they'll forever be there. As long as there's political interest in countries like Congo, Congo will never be at peace until they get whatever they want to get from Congo that they're getting. Because they're supporting all these groups from other countries to invade and kill these people in these other lands. For what? Is it worthy to kill someone's life? so that you can take over the land, so that you can get the natural resources, it just doesn't make sense at all. You people are not human. The people behind these things are not human and they should feel for other people. Yes, they're quite up there so they feel untouchable, but at the end of the day, this world is going to come to an end. There will be judgment day that we'll have to face, but it's not even judgment. We're all going to, we're all going to have to die someday. So just because you're happy, killing other people or you're not using your hands but you're using these people that you've employed through military even your death is going to catch up with you and we're all going to end up in the same place at the end of the day judgment day which is not good i don't think people should suffer because of what these superpowers want in the world 
other than that the one for the priest and the shooting his priest thing i, I missed that story i never I, I don't think i saw it at all i feel like they should push for this is why i i, I was going to say they should push these stories but i know they won't because it's not of interest to them they know what sells to them and what doesn't sell that's why i appreciate independent people independent people that are out there people that are putting out the news for us to see while these other ones keep quiet about it so yeah let me know what you think what you have to say about the message this guy had i don't even know his name the message this guy had and what are your thoughts about everything that's going on in the world and how the media doesn't give us uh, certain stories but put out certain stuff make sure to give this video a thumbs up share it with your friends and of course do not forget to subscribe and i'll see you in my next reaction video